probably take. Hello and welcome back to my next live feed and class. I'm Paul Curran, part of the fitness team, Queen Sport. Today we're going to go through a little bit about kettlebell, kettle kettlebell based upper and lower body workout. The equipment that I've got today is a mat, 12 kilogram, 16 kilogram, and a 28 kilogram kettlebell. The repetition range is going to be roughly 12 to 8, which means it's going to be the vast majority of three sets of each exercises. Two linked together, obviously, a push and a pull, working through lower and upper body. First of all, we're going to go into a little bit of a dynamic warm up and so on. So, we'll go into a little bit of a kneeling position. Same again, just to translate a big wide knee, sitting back and heels, smooth control, nice technique, drifting forward as hard as you can, pushing head through the arms just a few times each. Trying to go through and improve the range of movement. Back on the all fours, single leg kick back, picking the forward. Just a little bit of a hip mobility. Back to the side, picking back, big high knee. And up on the tiptoes, and your push, rotate, push, rotate. And relax, stay elevated, same again, angle to the wrist, pushing knee wide, traveling down the floor. Take your time, more of a stretch. That's a good workout at this point. Relax. Back on the old fours. Sitting sides and the tempo. Up. And then relax. Based upon your ability, your strength, and the overall outcome of the asset class, you can pick and choose, deviating between all the different kettlebell weights and resistance as you move through. First thing we're going to go on to is a lunge position in the single arm shoulder press. Then we're going to move on to the same side into a one arm row in a standing or crouch like squat position. So, starting off with the energy high, we're going to go on to a 16 kilogram and the rack clean position, first of all. Lifting the kettlebell. Good base foundation. So, remember, it's 12 repetitions, first of all, and we'll work through. Taking rest and recoveries in between. Picking up into that. Clean leg position, hand to the side. Come on. Extend the arm, palm facing out, back in the rack position, the done in the safe floor resting position. From there, standing up, getting your position. There's many different positions that you get into in the one arm row. We're going to go for the big wide feet, one foot slightly in front of the other, resting down, hand on the side alongside the knee, hook position, one. 
Yeah, well, that's close. Did I make it five? Just slow it down. Obviously, taking the rest between the standing and the floor position. Moving on to the opposite side, same thing in repeat as the 12 repetitions. Then we'll move three. I come to that clean position. Much more difficult on my last on the side. Darn. Safely back to the floor. Same again, moving into that opposite position. One foot further than the other. Resting. That's a strong shifting back. And rest. Back on the floor. Give yourself loads of room. Moving on to the same movements, now dropping minus two repetitions down to 10 repetitions. So again, get the best foundation, make it nice and comfortable, nice and strong, nice and effective. Whoop. Big straight arm, retracting the shoulder. Oh my God. Slow control. <laughs> Breathing. Take the rest to make the wrap cut. Shift you back to the floor. Carefully bring yourself into that standing position. Almost like that. One foot forward, one foot back. Sumo like stance. Resting. This time 10 reps. One full retraction. Elbows high, close to the roof as you can. Using the support of the leg. Back to the floor. Allowing the recovery to get the best quality of the next set. Don't rush through. Heavy load of resistance. Less speed on the reps. Let me get back one. Same movement on the side. Let's go, let's push away. Challenge, much, much more of a challenge. 
on my last arm. So, let's get the palms together. Back into that one arm row position. Same again, big sumo stance, crouching down, hand, putting the top of the thigh. Good position, good posture. Elbow locks to the ribcage. And then relax. Taking your time. Please take the recovery. If this is available to use at a different time, you can increase your repetition range, your speed, the outcome from the resistance to more cardio based. Back onto the same movement now, descending down to the eight repetitions, and then we'll move on throughout the body. Into the clean position, up strong. Hold, pause, slowly drop, back onto the floor. Changing the stance, left foot forward, breathing, floating on the side, sumo stance, wide knees, flat feet. And dropping down, changing on to the opposite side to the repetition range of the eight repetitions. It will become increasingly more difficult as we deplete the energy moving through the workout. So just slow, take your time. Up. Come on, there. Definitely much more difficult on the side. Back to the floor. Standing position. Changing foot stance. So the one on row. Big wide base. Rest on the side. Pulling with the bicep, rear of the shoulder, and the big muscle groups of the back. So let's test the store side. Here we go. Put one, two. Three, four, five, big long arm, just four touches. Six. And a rest. The recovery is going to be changing the kettlebells. Not everybody's going to have double the same weight of kettlebells. So, when I try and put this together onto a body weight kettlebell based, Push up from both sides of the body. So we're going to use the 28 kilos and the 16 kilo kettlebell. Just moving a So placing just slightly wider the shoulder width apart. So remember, we're going to be mixing both sides. Left and right doing the same movement. 
on a slight angle. So please be careful with the weight of the body, the body resistance, that the kettlebell doesn't move forward, no injuries to the wrist. If you feel there is a risk to do that, just tip the kettlebell around to the side on both kettlebells, hang over the ball of the kettlebell to make it a little bit more safer. If you make the call, please don't try this with two, four, six, or potentially even 10 kilograms. Make sure they're a heavy resistant kettlebell to support your body with and dramatically slow the speed of work rate when you're doing the exercise. So there's going to be 12 repetitions, both sides, the same thing done. Drop, get them balanced. New resistance, dropping down. Dropping down two. Elbows high. Facing the core. Chest below the handles. Twelve repetitions with the right hand high. Then we're going to switch around to the opposite side of the room, allowing this to change with the left hand high this time. Same movement. Two take the rest. Two take. Two take the recovery. Dropping down as low as you can. Attracting the elbows nice and close to the body. Pulling on the chest, slightly under the delts, and very much hitting the tricep as you push back up. And again, up. Nice for a grip, slow. Recovery. Moving to the opposite side of the room, ascending down to the next repetition range of 10 repetitions. If you find it really difficult, don't completely give up. Just slow down, drop down to the knees, inflate the lungs, fill the body with the oxygen that the muscles need, then get re braced to reposition to continue on to meet the goal rep range of 10 kilograms. It's tough, it's only my body weight, but trust me, it's hitting all the big major components of the upper body. Please take the recovery, don't have any accidents by moving off the kettlebells. And again, up. Oh, and taking everything, all my might to get up. Definitely need a longer recovery to move through. Three, opposite side, left hand high, same movement. Target range, reps, 10 repetitions. Here we go. Up. 
Oh, get it off. Taking the rest as I recommended and back up. Two more. Oh, very, very tough, very difficult, thankfully. We're moving into the last set, both sides. Descending down to the lowest rep range of eight repetitions, but there's a well-deserved recovery. Then we'll move on to a little bit of a lower body focused movements. So please take the recovery, keep it safe. Don't get sloppy in the technique. Get no one deeper impressed. Let's just get it right. Feeling the pump and the blood flow through the upper body. This is common, causing a little bit of a fatigue and maximum contraction of the muscles. Get repetitions. Four repetitions, and we'll go back in, four on four. Back up. Three, come on with me. Three, time, rest. Back. Back, hold. And then back to the floor. Thankfully, moving on to the opposite side. And the last and finally repetitions for the push up press. He's near to the kettlebells and kept one hand higher and lower than the other. Take the recovery as long as it takes. You know the up and coming movement. Four halfway mark on the next one. Oh. Four repetitions to go. Complete the upper body push up. Only do the single reps if you need to prevent you coming off with the rest. Don't push through. If the kettlebells feel unstable, or if you're not in complete control of the exercise. Moving on. Drop. Come on. Two. One. Three. Everything that it takes. Final finish in the push off, push up. Small, small recovery, small breather. Then we'll bring in the mat and then we're going to go to a standing position. You're using the change of equipment on the floor as you recovery. I just hope you can't hear my breathing. I'm just making it look difficult. It's not really. Okay, next one's gonna be stiff leg like deadlift. For this to be effective, because the lower body muscles are generally stronger. I'm gonna go into a stiff leg like deadlift, a soft knees, flat feet, hinging back in the hips, tipping forward the shoulders over the kettlebell to activate more of the hamstrings. Then we're gonna move on to the same kettlebell but small recovery in between if you have a kettlebell swing. 
Remember, same again, descending from 12, 10, eight repetitions. So both movements are designed to complement each other and the given muscle groups. On the posterior chain for the hamstrings and so on, for the glutes, the quads. So I'm going to move on to the side. This could be wide stance, hitting more inner thighs and hamstrings, or narrow stance, which will be more of the hamstrings. From the side, picking up. Same again, dropping down, almost like you're trying to touch your toes. One, two. Slowly, secondly low. <laughs> 12 repetitions, resting, with a small recovery we're going to move on to that thrust of the kettlebell swing, giving yourself a good foundation when you fit on the floor, similar type of position, similar type of movement that we've just done, so it's a little bit more functional, tipping forward with the shoulders, back with the hips, back onto the heels, and then thrusting forward. Picking up. Hopping the heartbeat. It's about taking a small recovery. Small breather. Just getting the breath back in between. Heart rate's high. Back into the same two positions. Step leg deadlift, descending down to the 10 repetitions. Gonna take a longer recovery. Feel out of the technique. So we've done a side profile on a stiff leg. This time we'll go front. So again, dropping down, slow, thrust fast. So we're down two. Down. So throughout, if you feel the need to drop the kettlebell resistance on the lateral kettlebell, to achieve the full functionality of the class to get right through to the very end, by all means. I'm definitely thinking it. I'm going to grind it out. I'm going to stick with the heavy one to allow myself just to take greater recovery, but I've shifted a greater load of resistance. This time I'm going to go on to the kettlebell swing from the side profile, hoping the technique appears okay. So I'm going to fit straight around and show the part, picking up, 10 repetitions. Taking your time, changing the position, definitely allow the recovery of the breathing, nose and mouth. Moving on to the final circuit of one each, step like that left and kettlebell swing. I want to choose to stay with the same 28 kilos, even though I want to go to the 16, I want to try and stick with the hip. To allow me to do this, I'm going to stick slightly longer on my recovery. Lifting the heavier load of resistance, going to engage, activate more muscle fiber breakdown if that's what the desired outcome is. Remember, you can do the exact same workout with a lighter kettlebell 
on a faster rep range and shorter recovery times. The A is on the heavier resistance based upon the program. Same again, we're gonna move on to the side profile. Stiff leg deadlift, slowly dropping down three, two, one. Eight repetitions. Very nearly there. On to the last and final kettlebell swing. Then we'll move on to the final group set circuit. And we'll finish with a little bit of a heart rate elevation and a small cool down and stretch. Same again, we'll try and go into that kettlebell swing. Three swing, this one cut. Taking the time, changing from that crouch over to standing position, getting the breath back, just walk it off, small steady, continuous breathing. We're going to use the recovery to try and shift the kettlebells around, so the next up and coming movements, big lower body dominant, big strong compound movements, bringing in many different muscle groups other than just the axle legs. I'm going to go into the squat for the 12 10 8, but after each squat, we're going to go into the seated pause body with squat. Just trying to flush the muscles with the blood to therefore increase the up and coming sets of the kettlebells quite dramatically by a simple tweak of positions. Moving off. Bring that to the side. Just do this as you allow yourself to recover. See, again, there's many different ways to actually hold kettlebell up, kettlebell down, bottoms up, so on. Or you can actually hold the ball of the dome of the kettlebell itself. I'm not that concerned in the hand position. All I want to do is just add additional resistance to what you've already got on the body. So this is a safe way for me. It's never going to slip out of my hands. So we're going to bring it up, up, into the position. Feet slightly one inch apart, coming down. Big white knees. Half by six. I was inside the knees. If you can, <laughs> carefully sit in the kettlebell back on the floor, taking the recovery, moving into. Let's see the body with squat, which is quite, quite difficult after what we've just done with the resistance of 28 kilos. Maybe like for you, it's quite hard, quite difficult for me. Just work your strength. Doesn't matter. If it feels difficult to the body, trust me. It's going to be given all the desired outcomes of the loss of calories. Complement the opposite condition of the body. Same standing position that we've just performed. But this time we're going to try and raise our hands right to the roof in the overhead squat position, dropping down the parallel squat, which means, in simple terms, dropping the hip to the same line as the knees. If you need to allow the knees to drift slightly further forward, as long as they don't protrude too much further than the toes, you should be in the best position with good posture in the back. Just dropping down, take high hands. 20, 
19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then rest. Walk it around, shake it off, taking the recovery, getting the rest, getting the breath, the breath back. To allow the same, if not better, technique on the kettlebell squat from the previous set. So please allow that extra little bit of time that therefore give you the better results on the technique on the big, strong compound kettlebell squat. Here we go. Picking up. Same again, you can change. You can go heavier resistance. Stay the same, my 20 kilos, or you can move down later. It doesn't really matter. Make the call. Don't push yourself to fatigue and feeling unwell for you to finish and eject the workout. Please, let's see the workout through to the end. If I feel the need that I need to drop down to 16, trust me, I will do that myself. Let's go. So we get a tick. Good work, come on, blow squat. Breathe. Breath, hold the breath, drive up. Stiffy dropping down. Use the recovery. Now we slow it around. Shake it off. Walk it out. Run into the next seated body weight squat for roughly 20 seconds. Workouts going on, the energy levels are depleting. This is when the body is tricked into it, doesn't like the feeling. So, if it doesn't like the feeling, it needs to make those additional changes to try better the outcome and to prevent these feelings for the next up and coming workout. So, please do try and persevere and try and push on slightly beyond your own normal threshold. And again, we're going to front profile. Of the exact same. Hold 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and relax. Standing position. Bigger, well deserved recovery this time. Into the last and final compound squat and see the final finishes of the workout. So, since it's dropped down to your cut here, repetition in the last set. If you feel you've got a little bit more gas in the tank, this is the time if you have a heavier kettlebell by two kilos or four kilos. You can lift it up, go for the champ. So you feel you have the energy and the gas in the tank, lift up a slightly heavier because the repetition range is dropping down to eight repetitions. Thank God, 28 kilos is my heaviest camera. Here we go, last set. Stance. Pause, put all the focus on the glutes, glutes, quads. Stand in good posture. Come on underneath the chin. Drive. Up. One. Drop slow. Two. 
Chest up right. Halfway. Nice front grip. Dropping low, wide knees, flat fit. Big the rep. Hold. Drive up. No. Walk it off. Feeling the need for a drink. To wipe the mouth, wipe the lips. Keep a high bit of the body. I should have done that well before. The workout, but we all learn by our mistakes. When we went to the last seated body with squat, same again, 20 seconds. So we drop into remember hip and knees, reach for the roof, knees can go forward, hold 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, walk and relax, standing up, small breather, walk it off, shake it out, we're very, very close to the end. Take a recovery. Gonna go onto the floor, we're gonna go on to a burpee challenge. 20 burpees, trying to jump and reach the highest point of the given room that you're in. So here we go, we're gonna go onto the floor. So, one. Okay, for the next 10, it's going to be virtual 10. Folks, that's me. I'm shot. I can't continue on. Ball current. Queen Sport. Thank you for tuning in. Take care. Stay safe. See you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>